welcome back to Pre-K Sunday School. Hope you all are doing well. It's good to be back with all of you, both in person and online, for Sunday School. Today, we're hearing another story of Abraham and Sarah. Yeah, you remember Father Abraham. Abraham and Sarah. It's called Abraham and Sarah's Visitors. And it's a story about waiting. Now remember, to, in, your, in the Spark Storybook Bible, to keep your eye out for Squiggles, the caterpillar, who's hidden in the pictures. Now our story is about waiting. And I don't know about you, but waiting is often hard, isn't it? It's hard to wait. It's hard to wait our turn to get to play on that thing or do that thing. It's hard to wait for our chance to play with that toy. We have to share a toy. It's hard, it's hard to wait for Christmas. It's hard to wait for our birthdays and to open our presents. Waiting is hard. But what I've also found is that good things are worth waiting for. And often the waiting makes those things all the more special. Just like today's story, a brand new baby boy was well worth the wait for Abraham and Sarah. Well, with that, let's head on in for our story. Abraham and Sarah's Visitors When Abraham was 99 years old, he and his wife, Sarai, were still waiting for God's promises of a huge family to come true. Abram was getting frustrated. He asked God, What are you waiting for? God spoke to Abram, I will keep my promise and I will change your names. Instead of Abram, your name will be Abraham. Instead of Sarai, your wife will be Sarah. Abraham was afraid of what God said. He thought he was too old to become the father of so many people, and his wife was too old to have children. He fell on his face and peeked up with one eye. Could God really make such a thing happen? Later, as Abraham was sitting by his tent, he saw three strangers walking toward him. Abraham squinted into the sun and wondered who would be visiting him on such a hot day. Hi, Abraham said when they arrived. You must be tired from traveling. Would you like to sit down, rest, and have some food? Quickly, Abraham asked Sarah to make some bread. He ordered his servant to prepare some meat. Sarah stood hiding in the tent, listening to the visitors. Who were they? Why had they come to her house? And why were they talking about her? She leaned in a little closer. Your wife, Sarah, will have a son, the visitors said to Abraham. Sarah started to laugh. Didn't they know that she was too old to have children? The visitors looked up. Why is Sarah laughing, they asked. Doesn't she believe God's promises will happen? God's promises to Abraham did happen. Sarah had a baby boy and named him Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah's family grew and grew and grew, and God blessed each generation. And that's our story. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's pre-K Sunday School. We hope you enjoyed this story. 
Waiting is indeed hard, but waiting is worth it. And as we wait with God, may we take the time to continue to make the world better. Know that we love you, and we'll see you next time.